Morning, children. So here we come with our next topic. That is the last portion of the chapter. That is plastics. Let's see what are plastics. Plastics are also a polymer like the synthetic fiber. It's just exactly the synthetic fiber which is made up of certain polymer. Plastics are also a polymer like synthetic fiber. All plastics do not have the same type of arrangement of units. This line is very important children that all plastics do not have the same type of arrangement of units. How come I'll explain you? If I have drawn the units of a plastic like this. So it's simple. If you hold a pen. Oh, ma'am has drawn a structure like that. Hold a pen from here. Make a box. Again a line. Box, line, box. So it's simple. So when it is simple, the structure when it is simple and easily, if I speak for plastic, easily breakable, easily molded, easily you can give a shape. That type of plastics are known as, the units of those plastics are known as, they have been connected with linear units. Linear means simply they have a connection among themselves. That is, in some of it, is linear where other it is cross linked. So linear means what? Simple. Simply you can deform. Simply you can break. Simply after breaking you can give want to give a shape. This is known as linear plastics. Means plastics which have a unit arrangement as linear. Now my second type of plastics which has a different arrangement that is cross linked. It's not a type right now I'm not talking about type children. I am talking about plastics which do not have the same type of arrangement and the different arrangement to understand the type of plastic will make you easy. Linear a type of plastic. Which type of plastic that I'll tell you in the next topic. Cross linked a type of plastic. Which type of plastic? It will be easy for you when you will study the types of plastic. Now cross link. Now here when I don't have to hold a pen to move or to make a diagram critical, it's easy. Holding a pen, making the diagram easily. But another diagram which I'm making, I'm holding a pen here. Then I'm making the diagram. Again holding a pen, straight I have made. Then to make a cross link, I have to make another type of structure exactly what I made on the top. Same way, again a structure, again a structure means it has been cross linked, tightly bonded with each other. So when you give a pressure, when you heat them, this type of plastic, they do not change their shape. They are very, very strong. So this type of plastics are known as, the arrangement of this type of plastic is known as cross-linked arrangement. It's a very good quality plastics in which it is non-breakable, cannot be deformed, and you cannot give them, once the shape has been given, you cannot change the shape. Now we come to the important fact about plastics, children. It's a general important fact which you should know. Plastics can be easily moldable. That is, it can be shaped in any form. Plastics can be recycled, reused, colored melted, rolled into sheets or made into wires. So these are the things which you will find in all the type of plastics. So this is a very important fact. If someone asks you what characteristics you find in the plastics, you have to give it's moldable, it's recycled, it can be reused, it can be colored into any colors, it can be melted, it can be rolled into sheets and there are so many but I gave only few and they can be also made into wires. Let's take the common example of a plastic which everyday life children you come to that is polyethylene. Polyethylene. It's easy to pronounce so that you can break it. Poly plus ethene. Wow. 
what do you form polyethene polyethene now polyethene which is commonly used for what i want a polyethene you say like that that is same way polyethene basically used for make what polyethene bags so what is the use of polyethene that is polyethene bags now children i hope you understand poly means what polyester ethene is a word children which is new for you ethene is a hydrocarbon which you will go to standard 10 then you will understand this word so just for understanding ethene kisse banta hai carbon se and hydrogen se so that is why it has been named as hydrocarbon so ethene plus polyester makes polyethene polyethene commonly used for make what children polyethene bags so now children after we have finished with plastics arrangement of plastics two important facts one which is common for all the plastics and the second one a common example in everyday life that is polyethene which has been made from poly plus ethene commonly i explained you everything now we come to the main part that is the types of plastics let's see what are the two types of plastics 